Hey everyone, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. <clears throat> and I wanted to look at the end of one of my favorite games. This is the game Larson Spassky from the Soviet Union versus the World. Match played um, 1970-71. <clears throat> was it 70 or 71? I want to say it was both. But that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I don't make any sense. Now that makes sense. Okay, so uh, this was board one because, as you all know, except for one thing, uh, Larson and Fisher both thought they should play board one. Um, although Fisher never said he should play board one, but, I mean, you know, Fisher should play board one. And Larson said, I want to play board one. And Fisher said, okay. So as a consequence, uh, the world chess champion at the time was Boris Spassky. So he played Larson and Fisher played Petrosian, I think. And then there was a game or two where they had like alternates play uh, for, the, for the Soviet Union team. So they, they didn't play all four games against the one guy. Okay, but anyway, uh, other than Larson and Fisher, the rest of the team didn't do very well. Uh, Larson and Fisher did pretty well. But the other eight boards, yeah, truth hurts. Okay, so in this position, um, Spassky has black. Larson played his usual 1b3 and played it very strangely. So black has a lead in development. Black castled and white didn't. And black's last move was to put it in h, h5, and start attacking. Okay, Larson played h3, attacking the knight. But... You know, I'm not I'm not showing you this game if Spassky retreats his knight. That's it's not that's not five that's not five minutes with Ben. That's uh, you know, five boring minutes with Ben. So instead, Spassky played H4, continuing to put it in H. And I'll give Larson some credit. Larson also put it in H. He played H3. So okay, and then Larson said thanks for the piece. Not sure if he actually said that. And since White played HG. Black also played HG. Okay, so Black's down a piece, and Black's threatening Rook takes Rook, which is incredibly winning. It's the most winning move ever made or threatened. Okay, and this position, if you trade Rooks, then you give Black the H file, and basically Rook H1 is unstoppable, and then like G2, G1. Man, the truth hurts. Queen H4, and okay, this king's, king's not good. Okay, so Larson tried to defend. He played the move rook g1. And this is funny, which I've said on stream before, but you guys weren't paying attention or you didn't even see the stream. I was giving a chess lesson to a class B player. And I said, black to play and win. I showed him this position. And he didn't, he couldn't. You know. So I give him some hints. One of my hints was he moved this rook. So he said, okay, and he said, rook h2, and I said, no. And he said, rook h3, and I said, no. And he said, rook h4, and I said, no. And he said, well, there's one thing I know for sure. It's not rook h1. And I'm like, correct, rook h1. So that was the one thing he knew, except that it, it is rook h1, okay? And this is why, if you guys watched my earlier video that I made about a week ago, although I'm not sure if it's on our page yet. So you would have had to watch it live. In ranking the top players that ever lived, I put Spassky like seventh or eighth because Spassky was really good, but he's basically famous in the West for losing to Fisher. But th that's not all he did. Okay, Rook H1, that's a pretty good move. So White said, thank you for the Rook. And, and now White's preparing to castle because he put his Rook back on H1. Okay, and black played the move g2, attacking the rook, stopping white from castling, because white can't castle through check. Okay, and white tried to castle. He actually castled here, and the arbiter said, that's illegal, you can't castle, because you've already moved your rook, you're moving your king through check, and, you know, what are you, what are you doing? Also, castles is a bad move. So since he couldn't castle, he played the move rook f1. Okay, because... You know, touch move, he got it, you know, played Rook F1 already. 
Okay, then black played queen h4 check. Now you may be confused because of all the jokes I'm making with a straight face. You're like, did he really try to castle? Did he really, was it really touch move? Okay, maybe not. And if white plays rook g1, which probably makes a lot more sense to you than rook f1, then I check, you play the only legal move, and I play queen f2. Now does rook g1 make more sense? The truth hurts. Okay, so this position's not, not good for, for white. Okay, also, if you don't like queen f2, because it's not the best move, so you're like, excuse me, uh, Grandmaster Feingold, you have a better move. Queen h1, put it in h. Okay, and then I would say, yeah, you're right, queen h1, my bad. Okay, so he didn't play rook g1, he played rook f1. Queen h4 checks still. King to d1, and then Spassky took the rook and made a queen. And in this position, white resigned. Let's pretend he didn't resign because this is a five minute video. I, I can't end now. Okay, so always play bishop f1, bishop g4 check. Now you have two legal moves. You can play bishop e2, and then this is checkmate. Queen h1 checkmate, and the game's over. Or even worse than getting checkmated is playing king c1, then queen e1 check. Then you get checkmated and lose your queen. I don't know which is worse. Probably depends on who you ask. Okay, so instead of losing his queen and getting checkmated or getting checkmated, he just resigned here. And the final position looks really devastating. And what's funny is when the match ended, Larson actually got two and a half out of his next three, but this game wasn't, this wasn't a good game. So Spassky wins. He was the reigning world champion and he beat Larson who said, I'm better than Fisher. Okay, except for one thing. This has been Five Minutes with Ben. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stayed awake. This is going to be a daily feature. So hopefully you keep watching them and you keep enjoying them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.